Harbaugh. And Molly, we actually have Elvis Doomerville and John Harbaugh coming in right now. So we're going to turn it over to them. <laughs> Okay, uh, thanks for coming. Obviously, it's a very exciting day uh, for the Ravens and uh, for our fans. The network's here doing this live, right, Albert? Good to have you guys here. We appreciate it. Uh, coaches here, uh, Ted and Dean and T.A., uh, of course, Don Martindale. Uh, Don and uh, Elvis have a great relationship going back to their time in Denver when, uh, when Don was the uh, linebacker coach and then the defensive coordinator there and had some great success. Uh, set a few uh, a few records, you know, as a football player there, and not just individual records, but was a leader on that defense. The defense has accomplished quite a bit over the last few years, and uh, we just feel like Elvis Dumerville is our kind of guy. You know, we feel like he's the kind of person that fits us. Uh, we like to say things like uh, he's a Raven, you know, and uh, and and he's that, that's how he's always played. And we we loved him coming out of Louisville. We've uh, in some ways, we've, uh, I, don't, I don't want to say feared him, but we've certainly respected him, you know, as a football player, uh, trying to game plan all around him. And this is the kind of player that you have to game plan around. So we're really excited to have him here on our team, really excited to have him here today as part of our organization. But more importantly, I think we're, we're happy to have Lori Harris here. Uh, Elvis is a uh, better half, and uh, it's your birthday, right? We didn't know that. Happy birthday. All right. And thanks for coming. We're our family, and uh, it's good to have uh, both of you as part of our family. I want to congratulate Ozzie and Tom Condon on putting this deal together. This was a tough deal. Uh, this deal took some work, and, uh, and they put it together the kind of a package that works really well for both sides. And I want to credit Tom and I want to credit Elvis on, on allowing that to happen and making it uh, something that we were able to do to build a really big deal into the framework that allows us to build our football team. That's really important. Uh, Vince Newsom and, uh, and our pro staff always do a great job in evaluating players all around the league, and obviously they felt very highly of Elvis. Our coaching staff did a great job of evaluating all, all the guys out there, and so we have the opportunity now to add a premier defensive player in the National Football League to the Baltimore Ravens. And, uh, Wink, there's a few things maybe you could add. Well, I, I want to make sure that I don't say excited and happy 7,000 times with this, <laughs> but, I mean, it's – as a coach, it's all about relationships, and obviously Elvis and I got really close back in Denver, not just because of the, the player that he is, although that helps when he's sacked. Yes, uh, for, first and foremost, um, you know, uh, it's been awesome. It's the first day since I arrived, um, accepting me as family, and uh, I'm so thankful, man, and uh, just thank God for the situation and opportunity. I think it's a blessing. Uh, I am excited about being a Raven. There's a couple, a few words I've heard uh, Coach Harps talks about, um, you know, the team, team, the team. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about that, and, you know, and that's what I'm all about. And obviously, um, you know, I want a hard word myself, so I'm a little envious right now. So, um, uh, But I'm here to, you know, be a part of the team, spoke to a few of the guys in the locker, uh, Haloti, uh, Terrell, and – so you know, it's just I'm just thankful to be a part of you know such a great organization who's who's proven to being a winner, and obviously the, the fans and you know the fresh uniforms. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited. You know, obviously, Coach Me and Wink goes back. You know, as he alluded on, and you know, it, it came down to my decision. You know, uh, about friendship and family, and and I always valued that. You know, ever since he departed from Denver, uh, it was a big part of you know my breaking point in my NFL career. Uh, he helped me a lot in a, a really adversity situation, moving from defense end to outside linebacker, and, and he made that transition very smooth, and, and I learned a lot and soaked it up like a sponge. And uh, so when I wanted to make that decision, you know, you know, Ozzie Newman, the way he's carried his organization since he's been here, and obviously the great job Coach Hart has done, you know, just bringing that relentless type, um, just toughness type football team. And, and that's what I like to try to marvel my game as. And and so the opportunity presented itself. And I'm so thankful and so honored to be here and, and just try to fit in and, and be a part of this family. Hey, John, how quickly, I mean, obviously it's a little bit of a unique, different situation the way that Elvis came free. And it was after the start of free agency and all of that. Like, how quickly did you guys have to move from the minute that that happens to, all right, we're going after him? Right. Uh, 
probably quicker than that. You know, it was just that fast. I don't think there was any question that, that obviously Elvis is a guy we've known. We talk about these things all the time as a staff. You know, Ozzy and I have conversations, you know, hourly it seems like, especially this time of the year. And, and be a part of this family. Hey, John, how quickly, I mean, obviously it's a little bit of a unique, different situation the way that Elvis came free. And it was after the start of free agency and all of that. Like, how quickly did you guys have to move from the minute that that happens to, all right, we're going after him? Right. Uh, probably quicker than that. You know, it was just that fast. I don't think there was any question that, that obviously Elvis is a guy we've known. We talk about these things all the time as a staff. You know, Ozzy and I have conversations you know, hourly, it seems like, especially this time of the year. But when that happened, I, I don't think we had to communicate. We just kind of looked at each other and said, hey, let's try to make this happen. You know, we have a plan in place. We've got a vision for, you know, how we want to try to take the financial situation and take the roster and try to meld those two things together and build the best football team we can. And uh, we knew right away that, that Elvis would be a perfect fit if we could make it happen. And we were on the phone right away. Elvis, could you take us through the process of how it all came down uh, I mean, at the end of the day, um, it was an unfortunate situation that happened. You know, I think everybody played, had his part in the situation. And, uh, you know, obviously leaving a really good organization, the Denver Broncos, um, you know, they're, they're proven winners. And, and it's, I have nothing but good things to say about the organization. But when opportunity came that, you know, I could, I could come to another proven winner uh, organization and a first-class organization, you know, just leaving one great one to another great one. So that was an opportunity, and I took it. Elvis, uh, when it comes to playing teams from all around the league, you've been exposed to different teams and different philosophies. What about one where it made an impression on you long before you even thought about coming? I mean, just, you know, you know, obviously the, the crowd, you know, the, uh, how, you know, pumped up the crowd get for defense here. Uh, you know, that was a, a big uh, good selling point. That was a huge... Uh, yeah, obviously having good players and you know good guys in the locker room. Um, obviously with Ray Lewis in departing, but those guys just the uh, the chemistry they've had here for a long time, and and I'm sure a lot of the guys learn a lot from that. And so if I could come in and, and try to you know fit in where I can and, and try to be part of that and keep it going, um, you know obviously just leadership and just just the, the team is important. You know, you, your guys and you care about them because you know once you have that feeling that chemistry, you go out and you play for one another. What are your thoughts about playing with Terrell Suggs and how good of a pass rush do you think you, know, you guys can have as to the you know, premier pass rushers in this league? Man, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I, I did play with a good, uh, pretty good outside rusher last year in Von Miller. Um, but, you know, what Terrell Suggs brings to the team, he's obviously was once the deepest player of the year. Uh, we had the same agent before. Um, so I knew a lot about him. I mean, I tried to chase him, uh, his sack record in college. I couldn't beat it. Um, so, I mean, I, I've known the Terrell Suggs for a long time, and he's a great player, man. He plays a run, he rushes a passer, uh, great personality. So I, I'm excited, you know, so we can come and merge and, you know, obviously Upshaw as well and, and just try to get out the quarterbacks. Talk about this scheme and how you think you fit into it and also the exciting new additions that the team's added on the defensive line. Yeah, I mean, you know, like you said, uh, the big guys inside, Kent, Canty Spears and Melody, obviously, um, uh, Cody. As um, far as the scheme part of it, you know, just, you just got to be a coachable player. And, 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 you know, that's why we got these great guys up here. You know, they're the coaches. I'm the guy who just got to accept my role and, and, and go out there and, and, and execute. Past Ray Lewis with the guy inside the locker room that really was actually recruiting for I guess besides Chris Martindale, was there anybody else on the team right now that kind of helped you make the uh, I got a few takes from uh, T. Sizzle, you call him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I spoke to Holodi, man, and uh, I mean, you know, you got a great amount of respect for those guys. They've been doing this thing for a long time. Um, obviously, obviously, world champions, you know, helps. Um, and you know, just you know, just the way this organization has always been contenders and is always in the hunt and is always competing and it's always year in year out. You know, a, the Baltimore has something to say about it. Um, so that that part of it, being going to a winning, a winning organization, it was important. Elvis, watching you play, um, effort is obvious. Just you could talk a little bit about your mentality for the game and some of the moves that you want to support that. I'm sorry, I can hear you. Just uh, your effort is obvious in the field. Just. Your thoughts on your mentality for the game, how you approach football? Um, I mean, it's just I love the game. I've always did since I've 
uh, attempt to play when I was like 10 years old. And, you know, and I think at, at times um, in life, you deal with people and you deal with circumstances of adversity that, you know, you, you can't do this or you shouldn't do that. And, and in, this, in this world, you, you know, you have to prove a point and you have to prove yourself. And I'm all about that. I think year in and year out, you know, that what drives me. I like to go in and as, you know, a rookie every year. Um, so you have to prove yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I'm excited. Um, my attitude and the way I approach it is that's, that's my mentality. I have a chip on my shoulder. Uh, I may have a big a brick wall now, uh, so I, I gotta you know it's, I'm so excited, man, and I'm, I can't wait uh, to get after it with the guys and and, and really compete and um, just bring that to the table. Now, this after your season ended actually at the hands of the Ravens, uh, how devastated were you? And after that, honestly, did you watch the Ravens the rest of the way, or did you not watch football? Yeah, I probably was in the hole for like a week. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was. Oof, it was not only was it so cold, uh, it was it was it's, it's a tough loss. But um, you know, you live and you learn from it, and you take that. Uh, a great man once told me, you, you never forget that moment, and uh, you remember that moment, and um, and you just take advantage of the next time opportunity comes. What was specifically the reason that you just called? Him? Over Denver, which made a nice offer. After. You, you you can't do this or you shouldn't do that, and and in this, in this world, you, you know, you have to prove a point and you have to prove yourself. And I'm all about that. I think year in and year out, you know, that what drives me. I like to go in and as you know a rookie every year. Um, so you have to prove yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I'm excited. Um, my attitude and the way I approach it is that's that's my mentality. I have a chip on my shoulder. Uh, I may have a big a brick wall now, uh, so I, I gotta you know it's, I'm so excited, man, and I'm, I can't wait uh, to get after it with the guys and and, and really compete and um, just bring that to the table. Now, this after your season ended actually at the hands of the Ravens, uh, how devastated were you? And after that, honestly, did you watch the Ravens the rest of the way, or did you not watch football? Yeah, I, mean, I probably was in the hole for like a week. Uh, uh, I was. Oof, it was not only was it so cold, uh, it was it was it's, it's a tough loss. But um, you know, you live and you learn from it, and you take that. Uh, a great man once told me, you, you never forget that moment, and um, you remember that moment, and um, and you just take advantage of the next time opportunity comes. Uh, what, was, what was specifically the reason that you just called him over Denver, which made a nice offer after the uh, the facts snapped? I mean, like you said, one great team to another. What? I got to think um, sometimes you, you have to make a, de- a decision, you know, uh, you pray about it and you, and at the end of the day, um, it was no ill will, you know, it was no hard feelings. Um, I just felt it was a, a time to, to change scenery, to change scenery. And um, obviously um, I wanted to be somewhere well, I felt like it was a family type feel because obviously Denver Broncos is all I've known all my career. And so um, I knew the next choice I would have to make would be somewhere I felt like it was stable, uh, winners, and, and a place that was tough and, you know, loves football and it seems fun. And, you know, from the top on down, from um, the owner, Ozzy and John, and obviously having a relationship with Wink and the guys I felt was in that locker room, I felt it was a great, great opportunity to uh, finish my career. It was hard about leaving Denver because obviously you were part of building something there, being a captain and uh, you know having Peyton come in there and everything else. I mean, what was most difficult about deciding that you wanted to leave there? The very reasons why I'm here. Um, it's tough. Uh, obviously, the friendship you you um, you establish, you create throughout the years. Um, you know the community. You know, uh, being part of the community, helping organization and, and programs and. You know, those are the things you miss, uh, your teammates. Uh, it's a lot of great people, man, and um, I can't say much about, you know, I can't I can't say enough about, uh, you know, the head trainer, Greek, man, uh, the equipment staff guys, uh, the guys who does the yards. I mean, just the relationship you build, obviously, and um, it's tough, you know. It's a tough decision to make, but I, I knew uh, when I was uh, involved in negotiation with the Baltimore Ravens that I was making a good choice. 
Uh, NFL teams evolve every year, but you've had a tremendous amount of change on the defense. Is there an excitement associated with that in building something that's new, I guess, to some extent? Sure. I mean, I, Peter, I think we've done that every year to some extent. Obviously, it's more uh, it's, it's a it's a it's more obvious this year with with the big stars like Ray retiring and, and Ed moving on. Um, Kerry Williams was a heck of a player for us, but that is the nature of the business in this league. And you know, I think everybody's moving on to, to, to opportunities that they're excited about all across the board. So there's nothing negative uh, in any of those. Uh, Bernard as well. So all those guys were just huge parts of what we've accomplished. They're great friends. They will continue to be great friends. Uh, we walk together. You know, we walk the championship together. You know, so we'll have that together, and that'll bind us together. But like anything in life, we all go through it in life. Things do change, you know, and you, and you evolve and grow and move um, in, in another direction. And we just have to make sure it's a successful direction. Elvis, along those lines, because of some of those leaders that you've done, do you feel that you're going to come in here and try to become one of those leaders on the defense? I mean, I'm just going to come in here and, um, you know, the offseason training starts, you know, work my butt off. Um, um, you know, obviously there's a lot I can still learn. And at the same time, if I can help a younger guy or anybody, you know, to move forward, you know, that's what I'm all about. So I've, I've, I've done that in Denver, and I continue to, to be a leader here. Elvis, Elvis, being able to come to an organization in classes like the Ravens is a great fan base, and John believes the best in the NFL. Uh, they're proud, they're opinionated there, and the fan base is pretty tough here. Uh, coming from Denver to Baltimore, what do you think about the fan base? Um, I'm excited. I think Denver had great fans as well. Awesome. Um, but I am excited for being a Baltimore, you know, Baltimore Raven, man. I'm, I'm excited. If, you know, I know the defense, is, you know, third downs, so it gets loud, and yeah, I'd definitely be needing that to get sacks. Um, so I, I'm excited, man. Um, every time I played here, it was rocking. And uh, so now, you know, now I'm a Raven. Uh, I'm looking forward to putting that jersey on and, and running out there. Uh, when you think about what happened with the whole fact scenario, how did you find peace with that eternally? How did you process everything that happened to the point that you had to accept it and then go from there? Uh, I mean, it's simple. It's not simple, but it's for me, it's, uh, it's one word, just faith. Um, I have faith all along that, um, you, know, I, you know, as a man of God and uh how I feel, you know, that my life should be run. And, you know, I was not going to fight it. You know, a lot of things was happening that I felt was, you know, a bit um, shocking or um, surprising. Uh, but, you know, I knew all along that, you know, everything was meant to happen for a reason. And um, so I just took it all in and just thought about it and, and accepted it for what it was. And, 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 and it's, it's not about what happens, it's how you respond, I've always felt. And um, so... I'm ready to respond. This whole situation, this whole process, how late in this process did you still think that you would be in Denver next year or did you expect, even after this situation unfolded with the whole fax machine and that whole scenario, did you still think at that point that you would be in Denver next year? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, I was drafted there. So, you know, me, honestly, I've never intended to, to leave in Denver. Um, but like I say, uh, things happen and it's – it's, it's just the way life is, you know. As Coach alluded on earlier, uh, it's a business, and um, it happens, you know. So it's not like it's not like I'm the only person it happens to, you know. There's a lot of guys who, who has to deal with things and, and make decisions, and so. Right, Aaron. Well, you know, we're going to continue to do that. And we, we, never, we never walk away from a good player if we can add them, you know. And we love competition. Uh, we love good guys like Elvis who love ball. We just like guys who like football, tough guys that will work hard, who are good people, who can play, you know. And uh, if we can add some guys like that, we will. Mark, John, how much flexibility does Elvis give you guys? I know you still have Buck Shaw, obviously Terrell Suggs in the area, a couple of young outside linebackers too. How much does he help in terms of versatility and flexibility of what you can do with the rest of the defense? Oh, I think, you know, the thing that Elvis has always shown year in and year out is tell him he can't do something and he gets it done. And, uh, you know, there's, as far as the flexibility goes and everything else, that's you know, we'll sit down with Dean and Ted and, you know, because, Ted, you know, one of the things I'm excited about is is, is Ted's coaching him. 
you know, and Ted knows how to get people to quarterback. So I'm, that's what I told him when he came in. I said, you wait, you know, and that's, that's what's the easy thing when I talked to Elvis on the phone is being so excited, not just because we want, you know, because we're world champions. I mean, that's the easy thing to say, but it's the people in this building, you know, and, you know, he, he is going to have a lot of fun here in Baltimore. I would rather see him going towards the quarterback. When we when we were in Denver, I mean, I, I like your chances there better. But you know, the stats—it's it's just the way life is. You know, as Coach alluded on earlier, uh, it's a business, and um, it happens. You know, so it's not like it's not like I'm the only person it happens to. You know, there's a lot of guys who who has to deal with things and, and make decisions, and so. Right, Aaron. Well, you know, we're going to continue to do that. And we, we, never, we never walk away from a good player if we can add them, you know. And we love competition. Uh, we love good guys like Elvis who love ball. We just like guys who like football, tough guys that will work hard, who are good people, who can play, you know. And uh, if we can add some guys like that, we will. Mark, how much flexibility does Elvis give you guys? I know you still have much, Shaw. Obviously, Terrell Suggs and Sierra, you have a couple of young inside linebackers, too. How much does he help in terms of versatility and flexibility of what you can do with the rest of the defense? Oh, I think, you know, the thing that Elvis has always shown year in and year out is tell him he can't do something, and he gets it done. And, uh, you know, there's, as far as the flexibility goes and everything else, that's you know, we'll sit down with Dean and Ted and, you know, because Ted, you know, one of the things I'm excited about is, is, is Ted's coaching him, you know, and Ted knows how to get people to quarterback. So I'm, that's what I'm, I told him when he came in. I said, you wait, you know, and that's, that's what's the easy thing when I talked to Elvis on the phone is being so excited, not just because we want, you know, because we're world champions. I mean, that's the easy thing to say, but it's the people in this building, you know, and, you know, he, he is going to have a lot of fun here in Baltimore. I would rather see him going towards the quarterback. When we when we were in Denver, I mean, I, I like your chances there better. But you know the stats and everything else. You know, one of the things that, that, that no one talks about is how many holding calls he draws. That's just like getting a quarterback sack. So. It's going to be a lot of fun for him. You guys got two on the outside with the Bunder inside, no linebackers that you have to address maybe in the draft or with young guys like Bynes and McClellan, who's a versatile guy both in and out. You answered it right there. <laughs> you know, it's it's a wait it's a wait and see process, and 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 then Coach Harbaugh brought up about the competition. That's that's the exciting thing for any coach. You know, is, is seeing the competition and, and how it all comes out in the end. Did you speak? Did you meet with the Ravens at all um, before you know today? Or did you meet with any team officials during the process? No. Elvis, have you decided uh, in terms of uh, your plan for the offseason? In terms, I know you'll be at the mandatory but maybe some extra minute camp to get more acclimated in the surroundings. Yeah, I'd be uh, I'd be attending everything. So yes, as much as I can do, the better. I mean, we didn't get in, we didn't get in details of that. You know, we just uh, first I congratulate him on being a Super Bowl champion, and you know, I was jealous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I said that too. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he you know he, um, you know I've known of him for a while, man. Um, we uh, like I mentioned earlier, we had the same agent before. Um, He's a great player, and you know, just pretty much, um, you know, he just gave me a text to let him, let me know that he, he, you know, he thought it'd be a great idea if I would become a Raven, and and I need I need to go ahead and make it happen. So, uh, so that was it, was it was good to hear from the guys in the locker room, man. I think it's important. Um, so, how was Wink hitting you up uh, once you became a free agent? What was he saying? <laughs> Wait, man, you know the thing with me and Wink, uh, you know, we we talk, you know. Even during the season, and, and so we, we we have a more of a family type, you know, 
uh, friendship. Um, so it's you know we we speak often. So but you know we we did talk a little bit more frequently um, during the whole free agent process and uh, and you know. He, he, like I've always seen him as a, a, a good mentor, and he's always been honest with me. Uh, he's a, he's always been a straight shooter, and I've always admired that about him. And uh, so, you know, just talking to him was 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 huge. Hey, you talk about yourself in terms of what you pride yourself on. You know, the numbers, he's three and a half. He's actually made seventeen force fumbles. What is it about you that you really pride yourself on as a player? Uh, I think just you know, just love the game. You know, and just be thankful. Uh, I think uh, not everybody's in a situation to do what they love, and uh, so every every time I play, um, I, I play like it's the last opportunity, and so I you know I really there's a, the stats part of it. I, I just try to go out and uh, to be the best football player and teammate I can be. This was for Coach Morgan. I mean, being not as tall, you know, more of a shorter guy, does that help you with the leverage? And- short jokes. <laughs> First of all, he's six foot. All right, we've had.